Solar panels are being installed on commercial and residential roofs across the world at an ever-increasing rate. These arrays provide perfect harborage for birds, and homeowners are desperate for a solution. Bird Barrier's Solar Panel Exclusion Kit is designed specifically to keep all birds and critters from getting under the panels, protecting the roof, wiring, and equipment from damage. The system is fast and easy to install and does not damage or interfere with the operations of the arrays or its framework. No holes are drilled into the solar panels or into the roof, and it can be removed without a scratch. There are two main components to the system, a PVC coated steel mesh and a non-invasive solar panel clip that holds the mesh firmly in place. The clips are made of long-lasting UV stabilized plastic. The half inch wire mesh is supplied in rolls of 8 inches by 25 or 50 feet long. Using a pair of snips or shears, cut the mesh into 5 foot lengths and straighten them. Then. Bend the bottom three squares of the sections up to about 30 or 45 degree angle. Use a piece of scrap lumber to help bend the mesh evenly. We used a 2x4 in this example. The flange stiffens the mesh, making it easier to work with. If the mesh is too tall for the application, it can be trimmed, but it's faster and easier to simply bend the top over. This also eliminates any sharp wires or edges. Since we are working on a single solar panel here, we will be using smaller pieces so we can demonstrate how to connect the mesh panels together. We recommend starting at a corner. Cut a length of mesh about two feet long. Bend up the bottom as showed earlier. Fold the top over at the correct height if necessary. Cut the lower flange and bend the entire piece 90 degrees. These corners can be made in advance on the ground. Put the corner in place and form it to fit well. With the part in place, slide the clips in from behind. Make sure the serrated post comes through the mesh just below the edge of the frame. Each corner should have two clips on each side. Slide the lock washers down the clips closest to the corner and lock it in place. Leave the others there for the next piece of mesh. Clips should be installed about every 18 inches down the entire perimeter of the solar arrays. An assistant can move ahead and position all the clips. Once the clips are set, thread the serrated post through the squares of the mesh. Angle the post slightly upwards so that the tension of the clip pulls the mesh down onto the roof. Slide the lock washers down the post but not all the way down. Move along the panel in one direction, loosely installing the washers. When the mesh is positioned correctly, the lock washers can be slid all the way down until the mesh is firmly locked in place. Cut off the portion of the rod that is sticking out past the washer. Notice how the angled flange at the bottom digs in, locking the bottom of the panel in place. Cut small pieces of mesh to fill in small gaps and lock in place with two clip sets. Overlap the next piece of mesh at about two inches over the first piece and make sure one of the rods goes through both pieces. If a corner flange has an opening that might allow small animals to crawl in, a small piece of mesh can be cut and zip tied in place. Be sure to use UV stabilized zip ties. Inside corners should also be made from one piece if possible. Cut out a V at the bottom flange at the exact corner. This will allow the flange pieces to come together forming a tight seal. Use a clip on each side of the corner. Many panel arrays are installed on standard racks and you may run into a situation where the rail hangs beyond the perimeter of the panel. Not to worry. Simply trim the mesh around the rail and secure it on either side with a clip. When installing on a non-flat roof, like Spanish tile, it may be necessary to cut the lower edge of the mesh to fit the ups and downs of the roof. This is slow and methodical work. Make sure you estimate your time accordingly to allow for the extra work. Good luck.